right, let's uh, imagine you've taken your hoverboard apart. Now, I'm not going to show you how to take a hoverboard apart. There's plenty of places uh, to show you that. Uh, what you're going to be left with is your wheels. And you want to keep the motherboard. Now, you've got two boards on either side. There are gyro boards in the hoverboard. You don't need those. Those are connected to these connectors. Uh, that's left left gyro board right gyro board uh, right gyro board sorry left gyro board this is what we're going to use for our connections uh, now I'll put the photo up so you can actually print it out for yourself but basically this is what we what, we, what we've got okay uh, on the left gyro board that we've taken off but we've kept the wires the first cable this one is ground the second one the green normally uh, is uh, your RX channel receiver so you're going from TX to the receiver this is the re reception if you like uh, then you've got transmitter TX which we won't use I tried using it I tried doing some stuff where I'd I'd get uh, two channels, but I finally went with PPM. PPM is a radio protocol. This is uh, the receiver. It's just a PPM receiver, yeah. Uh, then you've got a power cable. Don't use this one. It's 15 volts. So you do not want to use this 15 volt cable, okay? Just cut it, uh, isolate it, and forget about it. So basically, if I go down here, this is what you've got on the left sensor board. You've got ground, which is black cable, normally. Then you've got PA3, RX, ADC input, and a PPM input. Okay. Now I'm using this green board. These are basically the the boards. Uh, the, 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 they're generally all the same. Uh, there are blackboards generation twos and things like that uh, but this is the in general this is they've all got the same boards in yeah this is the main stm32 arm processor now the pin headers yeah are uh, hang on a second i'm just gonna pause while i get something so uh, i'm back again so the pin headers are actually if we're looking on the board on the photo are actually here there's four holes okay which correspond to the clock ah. 3.3 volts you don't use this whatever you do don't plug this in the three point you just want these three yeah clock it's in and out and the ground now what you're going to need is an st link v2 okay uh, and you'll need the program that's free on the uh, internet uh, st link utility okay and then what you want to do uh, where's that you want if you can see that you've got the swck swdio and ground those three so two four and six on my st link and then you make your connector now I use pin headers, yeah. I didn't solder these in yet, but you can actually solder them in. Uh, so, these, I have to forgive me, I'm not Spielberg when it comes to making videos, but you'll get the gist. These actually solder. Oh, let's get this, it's, it's hard to film. Actually solder into these holes. Uh, come on. <laughs> there we go. They solder into there. But to solder them in, you're going to have to take unscrew all the MOSFETs to get the heat sink off. So what I do is I cheat. I actually put them in like that and then hold it to one side and it makes a contact while I'm programming it. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, on my other one, I've actually soldered the pin headers in so I can plug it in. Make sure you get the sense right, and whatever you do, 
do not use the 3.3 volts because you could blow the board. Uh, okay, that goes into the computer. <coughs> I'll explain that later on the, with a part of the, the video on the computer. Now, basically, I know there's a lot of wires hanging out here, but basically, you've just got like on a, a rate on any escape. Uh, you got your three wires coming out for the motor for the three phases of the motor that are color coded so you can't go wrong you don't need to change the phases this is the hall sensor that plugs in you got left and right hall sensors that plugs in you'll need these because uh, in the program that you use it needs it to kind of and also there's it, 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 it breaks uh, when you let go of the acceleration, it breaks slowly, I mean, it puts a resistance in, so on and so on. So you've got one side, this is right, and this is left. The board wants to go this way up, okay, uh, which is actually upside down compared to when it's in uh, the hoverboard. But it wants to go this way up, so don't worry. So this will be left, uh, right, sorry, this will be left. If you put it the other way around, what's going to happen is you're going to have a reverse. You're going to reverse uh, the way the the wheels are going to go, and it'll throw the program out because uh, the program's made to work like this. So forward will go forward, and when you come backwards, uh, if you want the beep on on the reverse, and for the steering and and so on, so it needs to go this way up, right, and left. <coughs> so we'll just take a little look at this picture. So like I said, here's where the pin headers go for the programming, for the ST link, V2. Now you can pick them up for about, uh, in America, about $10, 10 euros. Uh, uh, they're easy to get, although Amazon sell them. Uh, then you've got what I did to get a 5 volts. Uh, just let me get rid of that. You've actually got a 5 volt regulator here. And on the left pin, so if we're looking on this photo, this is a 5 volt regulator. So on this left pin, that's a 5 volt out. Okay, I use that 5 volts to power my re receiver. So I've put a little plug on. Of course, you want a ground. And at the back here, uh, let's see if I can get this back plate shown up. Uh, showing up on the back here you see all that that that's all ground all that you see I've got two ground pins one ground pin was already in because this is a 15 volt out as well that I don't use that went to the the the, the hoverboard had a bluetooth uh, thing in it that was bloody annoying um, <coughs> so that's 15 volts out but you could use it with a book converter and power up uh, uh, any, any device with it you've got 15 volt out which is handy uh, so if you want to put voice into your uh, plug your voice in or whatever robot you're going to make uh, from Mr. Badley's uh, thing so here we go 5 volts ground and that gives me my power for the receiver and then I've got my PPM yeah, no, we're talking PPM, not PWM, PPM. Uh, I tried to get the, with the radio control, uh, the fly sky that uh, Mr. Badley uses, that we all use, uh, I tried to use their uh, receiver, uh, but it, I don't know if it's because I used a, a six channel radio that had been reprogrammed for 10 channel. Uh, there we go. So this is an eight channel ppm receiver now in the uh, the code i'll show you later if you've got eight channels you need to put in the exact number of channels the exact number so if it's a 16 channel you need to put 16 channels i'll show you where later and that's basically it there's nothing uh, when you put it all back together you connect your hall connectors connect your motors uh, connect your receiver, bind your receiver to the radio. Uh, once it's flashed, I'll show you how to flash it la later on. Uh, and that's it, there's nothing, uh, I'm trying to simplify everything down. You've got your battery, keep the battery, because you've actually got, uh, where they are, uh, you can actually plug, 
Now you've got the, the charging cable, it comes with the hoverboard that actually plugs in uh, here. Yeah, uh, oh, here. And then you've got your power on button. Now, what you need to do when you're flashing it is you need to short out, you need the power, and then you short out what I use is a, a DuPont cable. Uh, female to female and I bridge it or you could put the power the power button on and hold the power button while you're flashing it uh, I'll show you that later as well uh, and that's about it really all the rest uh, you're not going to touch the hall cables uh, you're not going to touch main motor wires and all that what you're interested in is this uh, left sensor board the gyro board that you you either keep if you're going to do something with it these wires right uh, and that's it so i'm going to cut to something else there you go there's no sorcery nothing uh, these are uh, the batteries that come with it like i said uh, the 36 volts so 42 volts when they're uh, charged up it's a 10s 2p so there's 20 on cells in there once you've actually made everything up, you, know, you saw on my video, the charging panel you can sort out. You get, you should have a charger with it. Uh, they're all about the same. You can get hold of them. It's a free pin, but one's just a guide pin. There's just plus and minus that goes in, yeah. Uh, so you can actually charge it. Uh, charge your battery. Uh, you don't need to take it out or anything. Okay, that's that for that. We'll move on to the next bit.